established the Madras School of Stereopathy. In 1967, a separate head injury ward was established, the first of its kind in India. And in 1970, his dream of setting up an institute similar to what he saw at Montreal was realized. He served as the director of the Institute of Neurology and was principal of the Madras Medical College till his retirement in 1978. Not resting on his laurels, he went on to create another center of excellence in Madras, the Dr. A. Lakshmipati Neurosurgical Center at the Voluntary Health Services Hospital. An ardent teacher, many students have been trained under Chief, as he was called, both at the MIN and at VHS. Sensing the need to streamline neurological sciences as a speciality, Professor BRM, together with Drs. Jacob Chandy, S.T. Narsimhan and Baldev Singh started the Neurological Society of India in 1951 at Madras. Anywhere you went in the world, India was known as Ramamurthy's country and he spread the word of Indian neurosurgery throughout the world. The WFNS and the WFN were held in India in 1989 when Professor BRM became the honorary president of the WFNS. He worked hard to spread awareness amongst public about common neurological problems like epilepsy, head injury and meningomyelocele. Now, let me tell you, this is a one kg of the blood. So, the blood is a very important thing. 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 மூளையனோட குணம் எப்படின்னா இது அடிபட்டுச்சுன்னா மூளையில திரும்பி வளராது பாக்கி எல்லாம் வளரும் இந்த இருதயத்துல கூட சுத்தி காக்க கையில் போட்டா அது வேலை செய்யும் மூளையில அடிபட்டுச்சுன்னா மூளை ரக்தர் ஆகி போச்சா மறுபடியும் அது வளர முடியும் of all three science academies of India. The greatness of the man we all know as BRM or chief was in his persona. The person who would always make it a point to talk to the junior neurosurgeons and encourage them. The person who saw a massive shift in technology during his lifetime and not only accepted it, but also encouraged his associates to develop their skills. I think it has been the most revolutionary step in the success of modern neurosurgery because the brain as you know is a very delicate structure even a, a one millimeter or two millimeter mistake can damage some function or other in the brain that accuracy was not possible with the naked eye We, of course, used to use a uh, uh, looking glass, magnifying glass, to operate. But then, when the microscope came, the picture changed entirely. A neurosurgeon can see even very small blood vessels which supply vital structures, can identify them and then avoid them, not damage them. In the olden day, when they did not have a microscope, Many small vessels had to be sacrificed, but with microsurgery, we are able to save a large number of savable structures. Your surgery has become more accurate. That is why the morbidity, that is the suffering of the patient, has gone down enormously in the last 10 years compared to the last 40 years. He constantly encouraged the next generation to step up. and carry the torch forwards. Yeah, we have to take on. The younger generation is very enthusiastic. The new technology is very good. So they will take on. The person who touched the lives of many with a kind word, a personal gesture, with fatherly advice, with mentorship, and so much more. Prof. B. Ramamurthy, BRM, or Chief, However you may call him, he is still with us, with all of us, in his students, in the legacy of his work, 
and the countless lives that he has touched.